And so 360 did send me this camera. It did not pay me, did not tell me what to say. And yes, it is Black Friday and the sale starts now. Wanting to do for a very, very, very long time. And I'm about to get that chance. Thanks to Insta360. They are sponsoring this video. They did give me my new toy. You'll see in a second. This is the Insta360 Go 2. This thing for the size is incredibly powerful. And for the size, I'm going to be able to do this. I've always wanted to put a camera inside of my helmet, and I can at this one. I understand how stupid I look to you, but it's not about what I look to you, it's about what you see through my eyes. No, this isn't the smallest camera on the market and like cell phones they're becoming smaller before they get bigger again there are other cameras that came out recently that are in the action camera world and yeah you know I think the, the video quality is a little better I'm not gonna argue that they're not this small and you can't do things like this <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I completely understand. I can mount a GoPro right here and you'll see pretty much everything I see. But one thing that I can guarantee with where it is right now is also the fact that it's pretty much dead on with my line of sight. So when I check my mirror, you can probably see exactly what's in my mirror like I see. couple hours past lunchtime which means I'm just realizing I haven't eaten which means I'm getting pretty hungry so I'm gonna go get one of my favorite Philly cheesesteaks in all of Tampa Bay and not a place where most people would ever think to get a damn good Philly cheesesteak tiny little camera lives in this tiny little case magnetizes there's also a battery so when it starts running out of juice put it back in it'll recharge it and you're ready to go also it has we'll get back to some more of these features so get a sandwich oh yeah um also that's exactly why i believe every single motorcyclist should have a freaking 360 camera and thank you for the x2 you guys are just really clubbing in clutch for everything lately thank you <laughs> So every 360 Go comes with a couple of accessories and quite honestly, they're pretty much all the accessories you really need for this camera. One of them being this little thing. It's a pendant, you put it around your neck, you put it under your shirt, but I don't need to do all that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tuck it in my pocket right here. Take out this little bugger. 
And there you is. Is that too wide? Oh, right there. Perfect. Pizza. Hello. Uh, I want to order a uh, Philly. So that's the 360 case is no bigger than an iPod case. Uh, battery, like I said, it's actually a remote control. It's a wireless remote control. So if you have this somewhere else, you can just record. You got this little cute little tripod thing right here. So you can just set it up and, and begin recording. It's like I already said, every 360 go, comes with this little pendant. You put it around your neck, put it in your shirt, it'll stick to it. This one is a fun one. I think you saw it in another video. I think it was the last video that came out. You just kind of like, and then you just grab this little sucker. Now, you can put on your hat, put on your bill. Like I said, you can put it on your dog's comb. You have the hat mount and then this little sucker. This little sucker is yet yeah, probably one of the cooler features of this thing. I'll slide this little thing out. That's a reusable sticky mount. You just on any piece of glass, any, any flat surface, honestly, and it'll stick there and it's reusable and it works pretty freaking well. And at the same time, you can kind of record like that. It's, it's, it's a little stand, you can put it up. You can. It's a ball mount. As you'll see when you open the box, you'll see these three different features. You really don't need much else, to be honest. So I don't remember off the top of my head, but Amber's got this much battery life. The case has got this much battery life. And then this particular one has 32 gigs of storage. They released the 64 gig for like an extra $20. It does recommend not recording longer than 15 minutes. It gives you, it gives you five, 15 and 30 minute record times. It doesn't recommend recording for 30 minutes unless you're say you're on a motorcycle and you have wind going through you. It does overheat. It is a small camera. It does those things. That's my future. Now, earlier I said that this is one of the most powerful cameras, especially for the size of this camera. Um, let's say that there's about three things going for it right now. Uh, one, I checked the audio just now through my phone, and for the love of God, I think it sounds amazing. Just for onboard audio on this tiny thing. Uh, two, it has amazing stabilization. And number three, it has horizon leveling. So as you see, when I was on the motorcycle, and no matter where I turn my head and how I lean or whatever, so let's stay level. This thing's freaking amazing. So since the horizon stays level, I can now do this. So since it has horizon leveling, I can just go ahead and just grab this thing and just... <laughs> One of my biggest gripes when I was using the GoPro all the time, and I'm clearly not in the mood to do it right now because it's big, it's bulky, it's heavy. There's a lot of wires everywhere. Um, it did to a certain degree limit my helmet selection because I needed to find a helmet that had the most flat surfaces that was a good helmet. And this would just go anywhere at this point. And uh, if you want to know the secret of how I am uh, recording my audio right now, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments down there. Do a tutorial. How do you do that? Because I have a feeling that not many people know how this is happening right now. Let's go ahead and take the scenic route home. Not very often I do that. It's not very often I leave the house lately. Yeah, it's one of those things. I am very kind of anal. I have never put this thing on here before like this. And uh, apparently it's pointing it down. That's my fault. But it's still the fact that it's still able to do it like this. Um, nah, you know, if you're going to start making movies and YouTube videos, check your shit first. <laughs> That's the unfortunate truth of this stuff. And I will at times waste a lot of time making sure that things are straight, narrow, you know, in the right position.
now understandably most of you are probably going right now but flip you just did a promo video for insta360 and the x2 360 camera and yeah you're completely right and it's what it is and that yeah that's the what it is i like technology i like being creative i want to do more of that um i'm not mr oh the 83 fxlr bcd cop version was the best no, no, that's not me. I like motorcycles. I like riding motorcycles. I don't care about anything else afterwards. I don't want to talk semantics over like two cc's and five horsepower. It doesn't mean anything to me. Is this the fastest motorcycle? Nope. My motorcycle. Is this the coolest camera? Pretty close. Again, every tool has its purpose. And unfortunately, for the next couple weeks, yes, a lot of my videos are going to be kind of branded can't say they aren't what is that what is that let's oh, burn see that's like having this here i can see and i can show you without having a massive thing but yes a lot of my videos will be kind of branded for the next couple weeks um we have nautica coming up we have the holidays and yeah i you know they sent me a camera and i believe wholeheartedly that this is one of the best cameras for somebody who wants to be a novice about it for somebody who wants to begin i actually believe this camera is polar opposites in the spectrum of for somebody who doesn't do it that often and for somebody who does it so often that they need a specific camera for specific reasons like me when i want to put that thing inside of my helmet because i think that's a weird perspective like i think it's kind of funny when bugs splatter against my windshield and i think that i got it on my camera but i forget that my camera is not my eyes and you're not inside of the visor with you and, and for everybody who is a lot of people who keep coming to me about what camera, what program, what microphone. I get asked these questions all the time. Again, why I want to do more tech videos. But for somebody who doesn't want to commit and commit a lot of time and commit a lot of money to doing these simple little vlog styles, taking simple videos, you don't want to go out and spend $4,000 on a new laptop like I just did. Or have multiple cameras for multiple reasons that serve singular purposes which is not, not singular purpose but most of them have specific reasons that they serve and then there's that insta 360 editing app you can use it on your phone you can use it on any computer it is extraordinarily powerful for what it is i raved about that program on the x2 video and i'm gonna rave about that program on the go to video that program between the tracking program and then the speed program you can cut you can make there's a lot of things you can do with that one program that comes free with the purchase of this camera so for everybody who's going out there and buying gopros and then realizes that it's a dramatically harder thing to do also the gopro app is not that good sorry gopro love you but that quick app ain't so quick yes there's a learning curve sorry weems you you know how to jet carbs I know how to <laughs> work computers. I feel like for everybody who just wants to have a fun weekend and have a camera to capture it, but doesn't want to invest the time and the money into the whole spiel, this camera, absolutely perfect. I haven't really left the house with a GoPro for months now. I don't really want to leave with a GoPro unless I know what I'm doing and how to do it. And there's a lot of times where I just don't really, I'm just really not satisfied with my cell phone footage. Yes, it looks great. Stabilization on the cell phone is not always the best, especially when you're holding it awkwardly. Hi, tiny little puppy. Hi, tiny little puppy. Oh, <laughs> you're fine. You want to be my friend? You want to be my friend? Woo! <laughs> He's adorable. So for everybody out there who will inevitably ask me in the future, what camera, what software, whatever, my answer is instantly gonna be Insta360 Go 2, 64 gig of edition. And again, thank you to Insta360 for sending me this thing and giving me the chance to really play with it and just see how amazingly awesome this thing is and how powerful a thing this big can really be and the things you can do with it. Not only that, don't forget the creativity that is within their app alone and the ideas and the way to do things is just that is fucking awesome.
Oh, she's busy. Uh, I'd really like to say thank you to NC360 for sending me the go-to. Uh, I absolutely love this camera. It is just one of the most versatile cameras. It is just fun and just possibilities abound. It is Black Friday. There is a link in the description to the Black Friday sale. Please make sure to hit it and at least just take a look. Uh, other than that, y'all know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, catch you on the flip side. Oh yeah, and uh, while the credits are rolling, uh, a couple things I forgot to mention during the video. Uh, the camera is completely waterproof, just the camera, not the case. Uh, you can submerge it, uh, and it absolutely is an action camera because you can replace the lens in case it breaks. And on top of that, you also make ND filters for it, which again, from novice to expert, this thing is perfect for you. Come on, deals. I want my Philly cheesesteak before it gets cold.